Well, in December of last year, I made some plans for today. Uh, my plans were to wake up at about two o'clock in the morning and run 100 miles, and I was gonna start right here. I'm at the start line of the Leadville 100 mile trail race uh, that I had the opportunity to do last year and was planning on doing this year. But as we all know, the race was canceled uh, like so many other races. Uh, I'm not running it and I'm not gonna do a 50 mile or, or uh, self-supported 100 mile version of it this year. Instead, just really gonna focus on getting it right for 2021. Uh, hopefully the race happens and hopefully I'll be towing this uh, start line standing right here looking at those mountains uh, about a year from now. Uh, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that the race didn't happen, but you know, there are a lot of other much more unfortunate things that have happened this year. Uh, you know, with COVID, with the uh, global pandemic and everything that's taken place. Uh, hopefully everything can get straightened out and hopefully the race does in fact happen a year from now. Um, next August 2021. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being on the start line and I'm looking forward to experiencing the same feeling that I had uh, the opportunity to experience last year. One thing that I haven't really had a chance to say is how much I appreciated all the people that helped me last year. Uh, special thanks for the people who came out uh, to support me, including friends and family. Uh, especially Lisa for managing the crew, as she always does, uh, in terms of uh, both Anne and uh, John uh, for their help uh, up and over Hope Pass. Andrew, of course, running uh, the race with me. Um, uh, in terms of Steve, uh, taking me up through the, uh, the evening uh, from Twin Lakes Aid Station and picking up a lot of time from there. Uh, and then Betty uh, taking me up and over Powerline and most importantly, telling me to slow my pace a little. I was gonna break an ankle probably and not even finish the race, but I kept going the way I was. And then Anthony bringing me all the way to the finish. One person who I'd like to call out and thank who was not one of my pacers, was not one of my crew members, uh, but did actually go above and beyond was uh, friend Christina, uh, who was able to assemble messages from friends and family uh, for my pacers to give to me throughout the race. Uh, they were they were great messages. I got a chance to hear different stories about people running with me uh, from training groups in Boston and Chicago, a message from my sister and from a number of other people. It meant a lot. Uh, Christina was out here for some other reasons and uh, she was able to collect a lot of these messages and write them on paper and they were read to me throughout the race. It really meant a lot. Uh, Leadville is a lot more than just going out and running. You know, to me, Leadville is about doing the training right. It's about the right preparation. It's about doing the right things for the year leading up to the race, for having the right kind of mindset the day of the race, and then making sure that you can execute on race day. Uh, there are a lot of much better runners than me who, uh, who have a tougher time in a race like this, and I have to make sure that I can keep that in mind. I also have to make sure that I keep in mind that just because I did it once doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. Uh, and I've got to do all the right things from here on out. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being back here, being back here with a lot of friends and uh, having the opportunity to compete in one of the most important events that I've ever done in my life and to share that experience with a lot of important people with me. So until, uh, until the next time, I look forward to towing the starting line where it's going to be a much, much different experience a year from now. All right.